Hello and welcome to another episode of Tell Me About Your Book. My guest today is Danielle Knudsen. She has written 13 children's books with a Christian point of view. Her moniker is Dr. Newt. Well, sounds like it's going to be an interesting one, so let's get on with the show. Hi, Danielle. Welcome to the show. Oh, hello. Thank you for having me on your show today. Oh, you're welcome. Now, I understand you've written 13 books for children. That is correct. Well, tell me all about your books. This is actually just a passion of mine. I love working with children and and I got two nephews myself um, and they their ages, uh, they're twins and uh, uh, their ages 10 and 10 because well, they're twins. <laughs> And uh, they love, they, and uh, I adore them very much. And uh, these, this is just kind of like a passion of mine. And right now I'm writing some Christian education books. I've written um, three Christian education books so far. The, uh, the, the first one I wrote was uh, called, um, Can You Get to Heaven on Roller Skates? And stuff, it's a cute little book here. And uh, it's with me and my cat Nacho as we try to get to heaven and like this and so we go through little zany adventures like we try to get them in the car but they can't get that far and uh you can't get get stuck going to truck because you get stuck in the muck (laughs) so it's cute little rhymes and then uh as you go through the story and uh my cat nacho is my inspiration for that a lot of my pets that i had in my past or in my future or right i have in my present right now i use them in my stories and i'm a, a big cat lover and my current cat right now, is, like I said, his name is Nacho. My, my nephews named him. He was a, a stray cat that we found um, that was abandoned in a parking lot. And he's this adorable cat. And so we saved him. And so we're both trying to get saved to, to go see Jesus <laughs> in a lot of my books. Uh, what kind of like brings the books to life because the kids will be able to re- actually have relate to someone um, with the pictures. And the pictures are very graphic. They're very nicely done with the uh, um, great photos um, uh, with like a, with my with my imprint in there and as well. Um, I go by the nickname Dr. Nut, kind of like Dr. Seuss. Um, I do have my PhD in health sciences, but uh, um, uh, Dr. Knutson is my original title, but a lot of people call me Nut because K-N-U-T, they, they forgot, to, they don't pronounce the K, so it's kind of perfect. So in my stories, I'm Dr. Nut. <laughs> so uh, you prefer Dr. Nut because I thought it was Dr. Newt. You're, yeah, yeah, they call it's a play Newton. on your last name, right? Yeah, yeah Knutson is German Norwegian, right? And stuff. right. So uh, they pronounce it uh, Knutson, but I had a lot of kids when they read my stories, they go, Dr. Nut, we love your stories, or Dr. Newt, like you said. And uh, can we have Nacho? So when people see my books here, like in my local community, I, I have a little paw print from Nacho, and they, Nacho's the star, they want to see my cat instead of me. <laughs> They're like, is Nacho here? And I'm like, yeah, there's Nacho. And he was here, but now he's shy and stuff like this. So, but he's here listening, guys. He's here in my apartment. So that's one of your books, and you mentioned um, that you're Christian and that these are to inspire children. To um, I read some of your emails to me that inspire children to um, have a better understanding of God. Is that correct? Yes, and uh, and so the book has also Bible references. So the book is really good reference for parents. They can actually go to the Bible verses. And 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 uh, uh, and read the Bible verses to their children. It brings the v- verses more, more to life, uh, uh, to more meaning, as well. Because uh, you know the uh, the Bible was written so long ago, and sometimes it's like when you read the Bible verses to children, it's like um, they don't understand the verses. So the pictures help bring the book to life, which is nice. Like in the book, uh, can you get right. to heaven on roller skates? The, the verse that's basically the main one is like you can get to heaven through Jesus, and then we talk about that Bible verse. Well, yeah. word pictures was something that the Hebrews used quite a bit uh, in the Old Testament, and in fact, in the New Testament as well. Word picture is uh, one of the ways that the the messages get through. So I, I guess you're uh, you're onto something there. Oh, yeah, and if they like that, can you get to heaven on roller skates? I followed that up with. Uh, my other book that I've written was called Knock, Knock, Knocking on Heaven's Door and stuff like this. And, right, uh, I, saw that I got the inspiration for the title from one of my favorite singers and songwriters. Uh, um, maybe you can help me. You're a musician. Uh, who, who wrote Bob Knock Dylan. Knock? Bob Dylan. That's right. Yeah. 
And, uh, you know, it's a beautiful song. And I was like, maybe I can write this for like a children's book. So in that book, there is uh, a lot of verses that explain what is heaven like. And they can use, uh, again, me and my cat Nacho with our zany adventures, we're trying to get in. And um, the angels talk to us about what is heaven like with the Bible verses. Again, like we talk about how the Hebrews, you know, bring the pictures and book to life. And so it brings the book to life for the children. Uh, the parents can explain heaven to them with, with Bible references, uh, you know, especially uh, uh, like pets and things like that. I've had a lot of pets in my life. And one of the main questions they always ask, is, are our pets waiting for us? And they are. And I show some Bible verses to help children under, uh, help with that as well. Maybe they lost a loved one or a, or a pet. And so they can relate to this story. Right. I'm not familiar in the Bible where it mentions about pets. Oh, yeah. Kids will ask, like, I'm not, not knocking on heaven's door. That's how I always start a lot of the different chapters on. So I must implore that Nacho can go to heaven. I ask this on behalf of all the pets that everyone cares for. And then they heard an angel say, every pet owner would agree their pets are a member of the family. And that's from Psalms 36, 6. So they can look up that verse about that. And then they have the same emotions as you do, love, anger, and grief, too. That's Romans 8, verses chapter 23. And then the big one for the pets, because a lot of that, that's, that's common. It's like, uh, um, uh, yes, now Joe and all pets have a place in heaven, all with procession and non-aggression. Isaiah 11, verses 6 through 9. So that's where you can find about the pets and uh, how they get to heaven. And then, of course, I'm not going to knock heaven's door again with all these different questions. But that's a big one. But it's, uh, And there's Nacho. And then uh, my cat pumpkins and uh, one of the pictures that I used in the book was my cat that passed away last year. And uh, that's a picture of pumpkin and stuff like this. I miss pumpkin, but uh, that's a little bit. So she actually got into this book as well. So she's in heaven waiting for me <laughs> and stuff. So, and, and the kids, they can relate to the book too with these great pictures, but thank you for that question. That was a great question. And a lot of, a lot of people, they kind of like, they, they really don't talk about much about pets in heaven, do they? In the Bible. No, I, I can't recall anything like that, but I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at those verses. when. Yeah, uh, and, and the verses are explained in the back of the book with the act, the actually, I have the actual verses that, that, that the parents can actually read, so they don't have to look up the Bible. It's in the back of the book, those verses are listed. I take it you're affiliated with the church? I am. Yeah, I like to go to local church events. Uh, in two weeks, we have a big event coming up at church for, for um, uh, the misfortunate children and stuff like this, or, or having family problems. A uh, big fair event is happening at this at, at our church. with over three thousand uh, participants that were that were expecting from last year. That these children that that either if they are homeless or they are, are not as fortunate, we got a uh, book uh, things for them. So I out of my own pocket, I've been signing some of my books and giving my books out for free and stuff like this for the children and because uh, uh, and also my bookmarks that I have because I do this just for passion. I don't do this for funding. Uh, my main job is I work for DHEC, Department of Health and Environment Control. That one pays the bills. That's my job there. This is, a read all my books. It's like, uh, I just love doing this. It's like a calling or something I got. And um, I'm just, the way I bring the characters to life, because I think the children can relate to, and it's a real person and a real cat. And my last cat was a real cat. So, uh, and like I said, we're trying to get to heaven. We're all trying to get to heaven. So, uh Hopefully they read my book here and maybe give them some pointers from the Bible. <laughs> I'm writing a new book right now and stuff like this is called the uh, come and see. And it's all the miracles of Jesus. And I bring that all together. So me and my cat Nacho are with the different miracles that Jesus has, that it, it has performed. Like when he turns water into wine and this picture right now, I got Nacho. He's like on the ground and stuff like this by the wine and stuff like this. Cat, he, Nacho didn't drink the wine, everyone. He's just he's just relaxing. And then I'm in the back with the picture of uh, the the celebration because that was a wedding. And then um, there's other pictures of like when Jesus uh, um, heals leprosy and stuff like this. And then um, or when Jesus uh, uh, um, Laz raised Lazarus from the dead and stuff like this. And when when Jesus rises and then the feeding of the five thousand. And there's a picture of Nacho, I love that one too, because he's in line to get some of the fish <laughs> for, um, you know, so, you know, and he has a little bib on. <laughs> so as I work, so the kids are going to love it, you know, because he, he's hungry. He wants his, he wants some of the fish. And, oh, Jesus did that with only five, oh, wasn't it? was it two loaves and five fishes? I think so. Like this. And, he, did, uh, he did it twice, um, I believe too. 
Yeah, twice. Yeah. 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 And so it's amazing so the kids can actually see that. But that book's in the future. That book should be out here in um uh by November. Okay. Because so, since I do this uh, just for fun, so I am able to produce them quickly. And like I said, it's just a hobby of mine. And right. Uh, How is sales going? Well, I'm more interested in people getting the book. <laughs> getting the word if they can get these books and stuff. I wish I could do it for free. I wish I could have these all for free. And I oh no, I do that a lot. So uh actually the ebook that's free right now as you're speaking, which is today. Uh which book is free today? Um oh we're Grouch, get out of timeout. <laughs> and stuff is about a lamb. His name is Grouch. And he has a brother who's like a red raccoon. And um Grouch is in timeout. Will we get out and do the zany adventures? So every month I'm gonna have a free, free ebook for everyone. Because my goal is to have these for free. But my sales, I would love them to to take off. And uh, you know, uh, I, I contacted a lot of churches. So a lot of my contact groups are churches, and so they can uh, get the books, and then I try to send them for free as well. Churches would really appreciate, especially if you're giving away free books uh, for children. I'm sure that yeah, those really are coming appreciate. out of my pocket. So you know, I'm, I, I don't make that much. <laughs> no, I know so, what you mean. I know. What yeah, you mean. so you know, I do what I can. It's like uh, you know, in the Bible, when that lady gave her two pennies or whatever, and she gave more yes. than the other person. Yes. You know, so it's just like I give what I can. It's also what I can afford, and then you give out um, of your poverty. Yeah. So if other people, they, uh, I love it. You know, it's a. Like I said, I'm in the small town of Sumter, South Carolina. That's where you find me now. I've been all over the world. I used to work for the government, the federal government for the U.S. Air Force and the Army uh, for over 18 years for the Department of Defense. So I've been around the world and um, I basically gave it up to be closer to home because my family's in North Carolina. And I was, you know, and uh, I wanted to stay put. So that's how I got into DHEC, Department of Health and Environmental Control, so I can uh, help uh, still do what I do with my, my health science backing. Um, right now, I work with the HIV viral hepatitis department there at DHEC, and um, I love it. So I teach classes, and now you can see I'm a crazy professor. So you see the way I'm talking with you? The people get the same thing. I uh, In my classes, I have quizzes and games that they take as well. It's like, it's like, what do you got for them, Johnny, and stuff, or what HIV and stuff? How do you get HIV? There's five ways. Give it to me now. And stuff. So, you know, as they, as they take the class, so that I get a lot of compliments when like, Danielle, you're making the classes fun. And that's what I enjoy. So that's that's where the money comes in, everyone. So my money is from from those jobs here. This these books. I hope you enjoy them because I'm gonna make more of them. Like I said, come come and see the miracles of Jesus is coming out here in November, and I'm gonna make that one as free on ebooks as well. Um, but yeah, and you can buy the books on Amazon, Bam, all over the place. And I'm really happy for you that you found a passion to write these books. I like oh, when people is, are passionate about what they do. That's what this whole <laughs> channel is about. Oh, and uh, um, and I, I'm a big music buff. So as you can see, like with the names, I try to uh, copy some of my uh, uh, words, like not not knocking on heaven's door. I, I had to write something with that. Bob Dylan, I was thinking of you. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad that I was given the opportunity just to do this podcast with you. Okay. And I hope my words come out and people are going to see out there too, as they see this interview. It's just like, uh, you know, Dr. Dr. Knutson, she's a, uh, She's a, she, she enjoys life, you know, and that's what I, that's what I want to come out of my books. And uh, if you're a pet lover and stuff like this, my books are up your alley. Well, I'm a pet lover. Absolutely. Oh. And um, well, it's been really fun talking to you and enjoying your passion. Do you have any last words you want to say? Final words? Oh, yeah. Just believe in what you do. Um, uh, follow your heart and stuff like this. Um if, if you do that and stuff like this, you always will be a winner. And, and, and that's the key in life and uh, life is hard. And, uh, you know, so stay there. Uh, if you have faith in there, believe in something, believe in a, believe in, uh, that in yourself and others and stuff like this, bring that love around and then other people can spark. What I know is like a smile makes other people smile. You know, babies can recognize good people because they see them in the smile. I see kids all the time. I don't even know them. They're like, they, and they laugh at me like, oh, oh, this is my personality. My energy comes through to the children. So they see that. So enjoy life. And uh, one of my favorite authors before I go to was, uh, like I said, I mentioned Dr. Seuss. I loved his style of writing, um, the way he brought those those words, you know, and children were able to relate. And, uh, and I hope to uh, try to do the same. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, Danielle, I wish you all the success. And I hope that this uh, episode will uh, 
we'll help you maybe make some more sales. Oh, that'd be great. And uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you. It's a pleasure to you. Thank you so much. You take care of yourself now. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that's our show for today. And if you like what I do here on Tell Me About Your Book, then hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell. And if you are a self-published author, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, keep writing and be kind to one another.